Will, some breaking news came down. Deontay Wilder brother, Marcellus Wilder, gets stopped on the Keith Thurman, Josita Lopez undercard in the Brooklyn Barclay, at the Brooklyn Barclay Center. Uh, good for Sports TV. We back once again. Appreciate everybody for checking in one time for the one time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And Marcellus Wilder did get stopped by William Dietz, who is 7 and 12 now. He's from Keeney, Nebraska. He was stopped three times before coming into this fight. And uh, Marcellus Wilder got knocked out, I believe it was the fourth round. Yep, he got knocked out in the, no, he got knocked out in his fourth professional fight. Um, you know, in the fourth round, yeah. So, yep, Marcellus Wilder took that L, hold that L, get, come back, get better. But, yeah, it's hard to get into boxing, man. You know, when you ain't got the amateur, you know, amateur background. You know, and um, obviously William Dietz wasn't that good. His previous opponents weren't that good. And, um, you know, obviously he don't have his brother's, uh, you know, he don't have his brother's natural ability. You know, being 6'7", he was a cruiserweight. Um, you know, you know, it's hard, man. It's hard to just get into boxing late. A lot of people cross over to MMA and learn some jiu-jitsu and learn some takedowns and or they got or get some wrestling or got a little bit of a boxing background. But boxing is hard. It's hard to get into boxing. It's hard to be a late starter and get into boxing and hone your skills on the fly. Only a select few that had a handful of amateur fights have done so. Uh, Martinez, Rosado, Wilder, you know, uh, you know, Anthony Joshua didn't have so much along uh, a lot of background and a, a big amateur background neither. But um, it's interesting because he was set to be on that uh on that uh, Joe Joyce and uh and uh Bermain Savern. Chris Eubanks the Gill undercard, man. And I heard they was going to announce uh, Wilder Fury 2 on that undercard. It was a possibility. And that may, that's my, that's why they could have put Marcellus on that card. But it was premature. They overlooked William Dietz. They thought they had a cherry pick. Um, this guy had about, what, 17, 18, 19 fights. And um, he knocked out Marcellus, man. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Deontay Wilder was in attendance. I'm not sure if he gonna, will continue his career. Do we want to get back there and then do that? You know, the word on the street was that he knocked out Dominic Brazil, and I believe that's one of the reasons they felt that he could be a good professional fighter because he had that one-handed quitter like his brother. But he could tell people firsthand, like, you know, boxing ain't no joke, and I don't think a lot of people respect just the conditioning and what athletes go through to be a boxer. And I don't think a lot of people, a lot of fans respect, you know, people who start boxing late in their 20s or 18. Like, real talk, like 15, 16 is kind of late to get in boxing. I think that's the borderline edge for you to get your amateur experience. So you got guys like Mosley and Mayweather who've been training since they could walk. You know what I'm saying? And people think they could just jump in it, you know, late and do it. It's not that easy. A lot of it is muscle memory. A lot of the amateur pedigree that you get by fighting in the Olympics and fighting in national tournaments and international tournaments is, you know, getting used to styles, seeing styles. Even just for three or four rounds, you see styles. Every day you hit in the bag when you get out of school. It's repetitious. You build up muscle memory, build up IQ. You see different styles, and it's hard to get different styles by just fighting in a gym in Alabama, bringing sparring partners in. It's tough, and a lot of them journeymans can hit. You know, the hardest hitter in the world may be a journeyman. He just don't have the other skill levels to to complement it. But yep, congratulations to William Dietz for out of uh, Nebraska, Keeney, Nebraska, for knocking out um, Marcellus Water. Hopefully, Marcellus Water learn from this, get better, come back. But um, you know, he's done with a lot of the people that that sit on the sideline having to. Haven't done. That's one professional fight and actually went through the pain and suffering his brother went through. He can sympathize with his brother and, and know that it's not so easy. But, you know, once again, Goodfellow Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. One time for the one time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And I, I, I presume he won't be fighting on the Wilder. I'm, mean, excuse me, Eubanks and DeGale card and he's, and he's no more. But, uh, you know, continue to look out for us. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Why don't you check out our Facebook or Twitter as well if I didn't say so in the beginning. And you want to make a donation to the channel, that link's always in the description as well. You can do me one better. Just share the videos. Best best way to spread the word about the channel. Um, in addition to that, we no longer will have auto share, auto upload up to Twitter and Google Plus anymore. So it's important that you guys share the video, especially if you like them. Hit the thumbs up. Comment. I try to get back to as many comments as I can. And, um, you know... Keep looking out for it. Check out the Patreon, too, for hardcore boxing fans. Only $2. I'll be putting more content on there really, really soon. There's a ton of content on there, so you definitely get your $2 worth. Good fellow Sports TV. One time for the one time. We go.